the secrets of parallel lines and a fun way that you can make them without using the plastic donuts at all. All right, so in a previous video, I talked about the basics of using these four colors of donuts pieces to make parallel lines and the thickness of the donut piece uh, affects how tightly spaced the parallel lines are. The donuts just work by taking an existing pen hole and functionally making it smaller. So by putting like this green one in here, it goes from being, let's just hold this still, a uh, big pen hole, purple circle, to red circle, a smaller pen hole, and it is inside of it. And the lines will be sort of that distance apart for the whole parallel line. Now, how the heck do you do that without these donuts? Well, some gears have, most gears have more than one pen hole size on them. So you can hunt for ones where they line up nicely and make parallel options. So for this 84 gear from the uh, full page gear set, and I'm just using the ring from the hoops gear set um, in this example. So if we start and we've got this large pen hole lined up, I'm just lining it up with the six o'clock position and let's make a purple circle to see how big it is. And now we can go hunt for ones that can be parallel to it. And it'll be easy to find ones, you know, 2B is right in the middle. 2A is in fact still in there and you could use one or both of those, but let's see how many parallel ones we can make. So 1B would work, but it's close. Let's see if 2A, okay, so neither of these is perfect. Let's go 1B. Um, and then I'll talk more about what I mean by neither of these is perfect. And that's, Okay, so that's red circle. So what do we have here? So this shows us that these parallel lines are gonna be really, really tight, close to each other. So I should actually look at this. Um, and that can be a really fun effect if you wanna have lines like that actually overlap a bit. Uh, this is a way to do that. Um, okay, so let's see what that other one looks like um, if we use 2A instead of 1B. Um, and green this time. Okay, so, good, 2A is our winner here. The whole, the whole thing is within the purple, so we'll get an interesting parallel line there, and let's see if we can find one that goes inside the green. Uh, it looks like we'd have options, if we'd chosen the red circle for the medium pen holes, we could use uh, A2, and we can use A3, for the green circle, I'm just gonna hold this still and do both of those so you can see the difference. All right. So now you've got some parallel line options in there, um, but I think B2 was right, right, right in the middle. And let's get another color, a uh, dark, dark red, burgundy maybe. Okay, and so oh, that's really hard to see, but the, the burgundy circle is just right in this Venn diagram overlap of the two, the red and the green. So you've got a bunch of options with just, you know, this one large penhole of ways to make parallel designs that will have different spacing. All right, you can do this with the 32 also. Um, so I'll just start lining up with this tick mark here. And a note on magnets, sometimes it's handy to put magnets on top of a gear and sometimes putting it on the sides actually stops it from sliding around better. It's sort of up to you to play with and figure out when, when you like each result. Um, okay, so that's 1B. So let's see if we can find, perfect. Okay, so 2A fits in the middle of that deliciously. And you can tell it's 2A even though the letters aren't there because on the on the columns of pen holes 
A is always the one that's closest to the gear tooth. So this one's closer there, and this one's got a bit bigger gap, so that'll be B, so A2. And here we go, the red circle, green circle. This parallel option is really fully centered. Let's just um, demonstrate that before I go further here. Um, with now the other marks I've left on this paper. But uh, yeah, red and green, onwards. 1B, here we go. Sort of make too complicated design. There we go. And now for the red, what do I say? 2A, 2A. Here we go. Parallel line. And this works um, with even the tiny pen holes. Okay, before I get ahead of myself. There we go. Nice red parallel line. No donuts needed. And you can hunt different parallel line combinations for different spacing. Um, this has less flexibility than using the donuts, but there you go. It's an option. And now where'd my tiny gear go? My tiny gear, I've just got 24T here, first one that came to mind, came to hand, um, has small pen holes and let's see, just a whack load of tiny, tiny pen holes. So for that, let's put this down, let's line it right there, let's use the second pen hole, um, just arbitrarily, and now purple, make a circle. So this is the second small pen hole. And this is going to be hard to see, so I'll need a really high contrast color. Okay, so first pen hole, first tiny pen hole, I'm wiggling it. It's too close to the edge, so that's not going to work. Still too close to the edge, but getting closer. That one looks like it's just touching the purple circle, so hopefully the next one or two. Okay, this one looks good. Um, so let's make the tiny red dot and see if it shows up in the middle. Okay, so that's a really tight parallel line. So let's let's make this page a little messier. We can just put down this hoop in the middle. It doesn't matter what hoop this is. It is in fact the 8864 that I have not colored in yet. Um, what did I say? The second second pen hole for the purple on the small. And the first, second, third, fourth tiny pen hole for the red. Here we go. Let's see how this looks. Oh, and that is a tight, tight, tight parallel line. Um, you can you can actually see where my pen angle is shifting a little bit at the edges because I'm doing this pretty fast. So my pen is tipping over as I'm hitting the corner, and it's making the gap bigger. Whereas I'm on the straightaways, it's nice and parallel, so you're getting these very close. Let's let's zoom in a little. We'll see how that looks. There we go. Um, and that actually illustrates really cool techniques you can do with intentional pen angling and like positioning. I really like this. I think that looks great. Um, and that's parallel line, parallel donuts. Secret parallel lines without donuts. Have fun.